The invention of the contraceptive pill may be the single greatest step forward for female equality in history, but there is a shadow that hangs over the birth of this liberating achievement. The Puerto Rican contraceptive trials conducted in the 1950s were the first large-scale human trial of the birth control pill. The experiment was conducted on 1,500 women who were described as being the poorest of the poor, who had no place else to go and short of sterilization, no birth control options, as well as some unconsenting women and men in mental institutes. The women were only informed that the pill would prevent pregnancy, but were never informed of any of the health and safety risks. They were given a dose that was 10 times stronger than the pill is today and claimed to experience nausea, headaches, dizziness and blood clots. It is also believed that three women may have died due to the effects of the experiment and some went on to have lifelong medical issues. The experiments were led by Gregory Pincus, an American scientist who had previously given the experimental version of the pill to chronic psychotic patients without consent and funded by Clarence Gamble, the heir of Procter & Gamble, who had previously been involved with the mass sterilization of Puerto Rican women 